Good morning, Terp fans. This is Terp Talk Game Day. It's the bye week edition. Maryland's off this week. They're back at it next week. Penn State and Baltimore. Huge game for us, but since we don't have any Maryland games this week, and we've talked about the coaching situation, uh, it seems like for forever now, we're just going to go and do the college whip around. Intern Mason, you've got, uh, let's start with Iowa and Northwestern. What did you think of Northwestern at Michigan last week? Well, Northwestern last week definitely did not prove themselves. Michigan's, of course, third straight shutout, and Northwestern has a tough one this week against Iowa. Right. Now, Iowa's looked fantastic. Uh, I guess they're 5-1. and one. Who do you have in this one? I definitely have Iowa. I don't think Northwestern's offense is up to Big Ten defense par. Mm. One of the things about Pat Fitzgerald coaching Northwestern is they haven't had a very dynamic offense. I think that's coming back to get them. Uh, the next biggest game, I guess I'm going to have to go with Penn State, Ohio State. It's a night game. It's big to us because Penn State plays the Terps next week. What do you see? Well, Ohio State at home having a blackout game, unveiling new uniforms. Penn State's looked sharp since week one when they, of course, lost a Temple for the first time in forever. Mm, come on, Mason. Penn State hasn't played anybody. They played Army. They played Army, Buffalo, San Diego State. And Indiana last week. So that, that record's a little puffed up. Uh, but then Ohio State hasn't looked great either, although they did a number on Maryland. Who do you have in this one? I have Ohio State. I think Ezekiel Elliott's just really good. Now JT Barrett coming in in the red zone has had Ohio State punching in the ball against Maryland. I think Ohio State's going to win this one big. Okay, and then as uh, Cousin Mark pointed out, the game day crew has Michigan State and Michigan. Uh, boy, I heard that uh, Michigan's favored over Michigan State. How's that? Well, Connor Cook in Michigan State's offense has not played too well this year, but some injuries on the offensive line, people coming back for this game. I think Michigan State pulls it out in Ann Arbor. I think Connor Cook's just offense will overall run better than Jake Rudox in a defensive battle. Okay, fair enough. Uh, like I said, to me, it's just a bye week. Uh, these games don't mean as much as really thinking about Maryland, Penn State. I've heard some great things come out of College Park, how Mike Loxley has opened things up. Uh, a little more rap music booming out of practice. Uh, guys looking they're having a lot of fun. He's promised to play more of those four and five stars that haven't been in the game. Uh, and I love the 1961 throwbacks. We'll close on that. Uh, let's do a little uniform talk. What do you think of the, have you seen the, the new getup for Maryland? Well, Under Armour this week unveiled a picture, but that's all that anybody's seen. Of course, the 1961 uniforms were the ones with the stripes on the top of the shoulder pads. Right. And for Maryland, this is going to be a good look because everybody's been saying, Under Armour's done all this uniform stuff, where are the throwbacks? So throwbacks make their debut at 3.30 next Saturday. Uh, we will be with you Well, to, later today. You'll be able to hear the Sports Maven on 1300 CBS Sports Radio, and you can go to the Turp Talk website to see that. Sunday, In the Nest, pregame for the Ravens. And there'll be video of that up on Turp Talk. And then we're back with the Maryland stuff on Wednesday night, 6 o'clock. We'll be talking Penn State and Terps. So for intern Mason, Bruce Posner, who's away this weekend. And this is Wayne Viner signing off. Go Terps! We hit Terminus!